Hey, welcome everybody. I'm Chris Petrafka, Music First Hand, comedians interviewing musicians. We're live from Austin, Texas, and I'm so excited to be here with Melody Shiflett. Hi. How I'm are excited you? to be here Good. too. Uh, yes, you know, season two. Hey, yeah. oh, guys. Seriously, stop. seriously, stop. Seriously, it's the embarrassing. Ego, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no. Hey, what you have, and now last time we didn't talk about this, but you have a lot going on right now. What, what are some shows yeah, that folks yeah. can so catch you at home? I am a stand-up comedian, and uh, you can catch me sometimes in the wild okay. doing my thing, you know? All right. Um, one of those is going to be live at Cold Town this coming Friday. Great spot. 10 p.m., Cold Town Theater. Mm -hmm. And then also uh, something similar to what we do. Yeah. It's called The Banter Show. Nice. It's going to be at Velveeta Room also 11 p.m. So you can catch me okay. lightning in a bottle on Friday. Cool. Check it out. And they follow you on Facebook, or say follow you to um, keep track of I you? would say follow me on Facebook. Okay. Uh, go ahead and send me a friend request. Cool. You know, uh, I'm your pal. I'm your friend, Melody. Yes, Melody yeah. is our pal. Yeah. And I'm your um, music firsthand. That's pal. right. Yeah, that's right. You can be a pal too by going to <laughs> our Patreon page oh, forward there slash you go. music firsthand. Um, and also a quick shout out um, before we introduce our artist for the night uh, to Hops and Grain. Our sponsor, which we love, they are our very good pals yes. and friends. Um, <laughs> we love yeah. Yes. Yep. That's the, the beer. Yeah, the and, <laughs> and New Standard Manufacturing as well. They produce these wonderful shirts that are really nice and soft, which you can get them mm -hmm. online until February 21st at 35% off from our website if you use the um, code FIRSTHAND. You can get one of these shirts for like, I think it comes out to like, Twelve or thirteen dollars. So that's, that's a, a pretty sweet deal. Pretty sweet deal. And a good shirt. We're all about forever. good deals here. Yeah. For sure. But we have a great musical guest that's here tonight. Right. I think without further ado, Ryan Desiato. Yeah. Oh me, me. That was a good show. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it very much. Thank you guys for having me. Yeah, yeah. We're glad you're here. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna hear your first. Yeah, we'd song. love to hear your first song. Let's do this. Okay. All right. You gotta give us a, a shout out to to these two, the sound behind the scenes folks, man. That's been great. great. Yeah. Seriously. I, a lot of kindness, a lot of love and professionalism from everyone here. All right, here we go. A song called Mint Enough from my new EP that will be out this year in a couple of months. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Oh, 
you my soul Very much. Guys, it's gone. Yeah. All right. Oh, chills. <laughs> um, well, so I noticed you have a very warm sound. I mean, that's part the Gibson, but uh, can you talk a little bit about your acoustic influences? Acoustic influences. Mm. Yeah. I think you're just a warm guy. Just in general, you just, just run like, hot. Yeah, you just <laughs> running hot. <laughs> if you met my girlfriend, she'd be like, "Yeah, you're right." <laughs> oh, do you keep the AC yes. way down? I know you mean metaphor. Mm, yes. An analogy, whatever. But like, but do you like, keep the AC down? Well, I mean, like, I I'm just warm or running hot. You're right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think so. Where, no. where is she yeah. tonight? Yeah, is where she is not, Why is she not here? No, uh, she's in Utah. Oh, this okay. New family. Oh. I wanted her to be here. What's her name? Tina. Tina, Tina Thurston. Tina, are you watching? Are you watching at home? Tina. Tina, yes. are you comfortable? We wish you were here, Tina. Your full name, girl. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we would have a conversation. And about Tina, that. I don't know if mm -hmm. Ryan told you no. this, but we are taking questions online and comments. So you know, she's an right. author, by Get the way. In. Oh, right okay. in here. Writes children's books and poetry. Oh, oh my God! Nice. Really? Fantastic, too. Anyway. Can you? Okay, on we'll look her up. Hey, let's, 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 <laughs> let's have Tina on the show <laughs> yeah, next time. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, no, we're getting really excited. My ego. Cool let's bring it back kidding, to, no, no yeah. let's bring it back to Tina. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> let's go for it. Um, so how did you guys meet, you yeah. and Tina? How did we meet? I played, um, I think my mic just dropped, but I played, <laughs> I played a wedding for her sister and we mm -hmm. became friends and in this day and age with social media and everything, we became we became friends mm -hmm. the old fashioned style. Yeah. The the old fashioned way nice. where we literally talked on the phone for months, Aww. got to know one another, and then she just happened to be moving close to her sister and yeah. I happened to be in the general vicinity, cool. and yeah. you know, wow. we were just friends. And so back nice. up a little you know, bit. That's how things go. You yeah. were in a wedding band. Well, not a wedding band. Okay. You're at well, the you played a I wedding, do? so let's start there. Okay. Um. Take, let's have the comedian. Come on. <laughs> no. So right. were you a DJ or? Uh, no. No. But when you're not I in a wedding weddings, band. I I do um I'll I'll play ceremonies uh -huh. and and you know like the dinner kind of stuff like real you said warm stuff you know yeah so like, yeah granted that was warm yeah yeah yeah, really yeah. Song, so, okay. so it's a it's solo, soloist you're a soloist at weddings yes oh absolutely. cool yeah. okay cool it's, so it's more or less my day job actually oh really um, wow yeah. Yeah. that's very cool yeah it is we're cool. always it's... curious as you know how you're. Yeah, well, how you, anyone's how making you make it ends meet, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah you got to make it somewhere. That's but you know that? Uh, do you use any uh, Al Green in your in your repertoire in your in your wedding repertoire? No. no? Well, if I was asked to, I would. Okay. But in general, I do love old R and B. Yeah. Love old R and B. Like I don't know where you're. 
Going so, that, well, if, if you, heard you know what, you what I thought about it was that some of like the vocal patterns that you had, had uh, a reflection sort of, of okay. like so Marvin Gaye or like, now. yeah. <laughs> because that is one of the best compliments I've had. Yeah, in a while. Thank you I mean, so you can kind of tell like between a, you know. I love soul. I love soul. Right, I love right. So it's soulful. And, yeah, um, and, and that's where I was hearing like the and, warmth and, in it. Like too. The, the older, when it was being hatched, kind of. You know, yeah, element of those things. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's so. so I was kind of hearing wow. that up top, but then when you said you were a wedding singer, I was like, so here we go. Hey, man, You've we, obviously we, been we singing. All make ends meet, right? Yeah, that's no. right. That, and there's good money. Yeah, in that, so. yeah, yeah and, and absolutely. You know, honestly, it's. I don't want to talk about this too much, <laughs> but I will tell you this: um, it's um, it's an honor to be a part of some of those moments in mm -hmm. people's lives. I mean, you yeah. don't get a second take. Oh yeah. You have to be on point, and. They will never forget you, and I've met some of the best people by doing those. Now that's something I'm phasing out of. Yeah, I'm happy to talk about that as well. Well, so but. wait, <laughs> you said that you um, before because you've been playing music for a while. When did you start playing music? See, now that is an interesting question because I started playing when I was about um, yeah. <laughs> I love this guy. Um, I started messing around when I was, I'd say, 17, 18. I got mm -hmm. kind of like a late start. Messing but around? Messing Stop. around, just like I would look at With music. tablature. Yeah, we, okay, we just want to make sure our fans know that we're clear when you're saying messing around. Right. Man. God, okay. Just want to make know. sure. There's it's... a lot of confusion at that term. All right. <laughs> Could have been Good. one well, of those I'm guys glad that we're with clear the buckets. Yes. You know? I'm glad that we're clear now. Start playing guitar later. So messing around? Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. Um, I started messing around with my guitar. That could go in a lot of different directions, too. But I'm just going to leave it there. I'm you up, man. Knock him down. <laughs> I know. Anyway, so you're a teenager, um, and you start getting yeah, really so attracted it, to your you guitar. Know, after, right. After my parents you. divorced, yes. after my um, parents divorced we'll, we'll, right. go, we'll go into some Oh, stuff. good. Yeah. Okay. So after my parents divorce, which was, you know, never good for, for anyone. Painful, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I picked up the guitar. I, was, I actually had piano lessons when I was younger. Mm -hmm. And the piano teacher... When you, she was like just like movie evil. Okay. You know, like slap my hand she if I played the wrong with note. You. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. You know, so I would intentionally play poorly. Oh. And then whenever I got a guitar, I was like, okay, no one's here to smack my hand. Mm -hmm. And so I started playing around with tablature, and uh, and it just kind of came to me. But to answer your question fully, sure. I didn't. Um, how do I put it? I didn't engage music as a passion and love and as a career until 2006-ish. It, hmm. was, it was starting to, hmm. I, I, I had to develop and I had to sell myself on myself. Mm -hmm. I had ideas for what I wanted to do, but I wasn't sure how to articulate them. Mm -hmm. So I had to spend a lot of time Wait, it was so, and this was when you were playing rock, is that right? Yes. Because you said yes. you were playing and I, and rock earlier. I still earlier. do. I still play rock. So, but so some of those main influences while you were starting mm -hmm. to mess with your guitar was, uh, you mentioned was Soundgarden. I was, yeah. Oh man, I was. I, 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 I said loved, it. I, I said it. German. Did you hear that unplugged. Soundgarden? <laughs> Nirvana unplugged. I sat in my garage oh, yeah, where it right? sounded nice, and I played and I learned every note on Nirvana. Was unplugged. your first guitar? Loved that. Was record. it acoustic? Yeah, it was, well, no, my first guitar was a Kramer, um, shout out to Kramer, I guess. So, mm. Hashtag Send Kramer. Send us some money. Um, <laughs> New sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a Kramer guitar, and um, it was an electric guitar, and it mm -hmm. was, but it was a good learning tool yeah. at that time in my life. My first then, guitar was a little tiny. It was like a little kid guitar. Do you play? Oh well, I I mess around. Actually, I mess around. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, you know what? It's run wild with that. <laughs> the, the thing is, is that I'm an like, adult. You have right? to be you have to be careful <laughs> stepping into a situation like this with a literal comedian because, like, <laughs> right. I, I'm like, is this a roast? Oh no 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 Dry. I mean, it's uh -huh. gonna be, you know, if but we I could go there. Too, it's an accident. Oh, you can go. That's true. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. But um, so I'd my first not. one was <laughs> the, a little baby guitar. It was like um, I was in the fifth grade, uh -huh. and it had a little speaker in it, 
And if I hope my dad's a watching. Dad, oh, do that you was a popular that guitar? one. And a little speaker in it, and a little dip out. It looked really? like a crazy '60s I'm mod guitar. I'm not familiar guitar. with this. Um, yeah, they had the all these. The amplifier like, was in the actual body uh-huh. of the. Yeah, the and guitar. just had a little click on it. Oh, it was a smaller cool. size you know, too. One of those? Yeah. Super cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, dude, I've check it out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they were pretty cool. Hey, but back to um, I do want to fit on that. Anyway. this hiatus though you took because you came out in 2004, 2005, right, with a couple albums, right? It's because you were pretty. You hit it hard. Very active then. Yeah, I was very active then, and I was, um, um, yeah. There was a lot of momentum going, um, moving forward in that time, and it was really good. And and I had, I had an excellent, excellent manager at the time. That was more familiar with the film industry than the music industry. Okay. And so we worked on it, but it never. It, uh, it never kind of materialized, I guess, you know, and and it was good. Good things happened. Great things happened. And, and we still have that relationship. What, but what is I'm bringing this up for the sake of I shouldn't drink Topo Chico when I'm giving an interview. <laughs> anyway, um, no, just but burp but, right in there. But I don't want to lose my train of thought, but I'll say this. So Lee Peterson is a is a she's a. She's a writer of scripts. She's a producer, and um, and this EP, the song that I just played, "Mint Enough," from my new EP that I'm making with executive producer Joaquin Vargas, who's over there in the bathroom. Yeah, everybody, it's, let's just give him a hand because he's helping to facilitate this. Yes. She reached back out to me when she saw that I was making a new project. I had just released this album, which is called So Much for Innocence, and yes. you can check it out at my, at my um, website, which is myname.com. And I don't know if we get a close-up on that, but yeah. I'm not going to try to... Dot com. We've got it hovering by your head. So the entire time, yes, it's hovering yeah. right there. <laughs> and uh, so, so Lee went her way, I went my way, No Love Lost, and uh, we reconnected, and she's working on some, some films that uh, some songs from this record um, and many songs from this new EP are going to be a part of these films that are coming out. So she was thus like inspired by the sound you had made or... I think she just wanted kind of to matched see, up with some I think she, she wanted to doing. put her toe in the water and see mm-hmm. where I was at. Oh, okay. cool. And uh, when she, you know, when she did that, she I started to send her the demos of some of these yeah. songs and it was it was exciting to her and she yeah. was like I mean she was gracious enough to send me the premise of these films you know mm-hmm. and that's you know that gives you a yeah. lot of a lot of yeah, yeah. ideas to like which songs to choose and it's also stifling for someone like myself who's a writer mm-hmm. and writes a lot mm-hmm. and um, you know it's tough. Wait, so it's you, tough to pick which one you want. Right. Which one, it's so just going to be yeah. the right Was one the inclination to like write a new thing for that? Or? Actually, no. It was more just an inclination to dive into my songbook and find what was going to be the best. And I'm still mm-hmm. like, two days from now, uh, Joaquin and I and the producer of the album, Lang Freeman, um, we're going to be doing a just sit down observational, let's be critical of Ryan and his songs kind of yeah. thing. Which is fine, it's good, yeah. we all need that. Cool. Mm-hmm. And uh, and we'll go from there. And it's gonna be some, the, the five that I think are right, actually the four and a half that I think are right, and the other ones might fit in there, yeah. might not. But so, that's a good process. So yeah. that's what's going and on. Cool. And we are getting so some questions. Yeah, yeah. Oh, we're we got some, some fan questions for you. Yeah, some fan, fan questions, yeah. questions yeah. are coming Shoot. in. So Jackson Alexander. Thanks for sending in a question here. Hi, Jackson. Uh, yeah. What's up, uh, man? So one of the questions he asked is, are you self-taught, or what was your greatest asset in learning to play? I am self-taught. Like I said, music lessons are smacking mm-hmm. my hands. It's ridiculous. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm completely self-taught. But if you are in a place where you think you want to learn music, it's good to find a good teacher. That I wish I would have done that. It would have sped and helped me to, to grow. But at the same time, I'll follow that up with the fact that you never know what's going to come out of you without guidance. Mm. And I didn't have any guidance, so I didn't feel like there were any walls or barriers. Yeah. 
There are a I lot of bad teachers out there. Shout know? out to good teachers. Mm-hmm. And thanks for your question, man. Shout I appreciate yeah. that very much. Hey, on yeah. that. Shout, out, shout out to yeah. good teachers. And, uh, shout out to good people. <laughs> yeah, shout out to good people, A lot of good energy too. in this room yeah, tonight. Like Speaking that, of good yeah. people, uh, how about another song? Let's do another song. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. All right. Done. I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 it's just harmonics. <laughs> if you did, I'd be like, let's do it. Okay. So this is another one. This is this is a funky thing. Um, it just is what it is. And uh, it's a song called All Good Things. Oh, well, no. Here we go. I watch the sun bow its head and say goodnight As the moon comes to bathe the land in its soft eerie light And I wonder to myself if the chase will ever end If these two celestial brothers are enemies or friends And then I think all good things must come to an end there's a time to risk going back to where I've been And no amount of heaven in the past is ever gonna change Or bring those places back I've been the lover of Miss Lady Luck Found that she never really ever loved me that much for as soon as she'd come to me she'd be gone again I'd be left alone wonder where she went and then I think oh things must come to an end there's a time to Sweetest love wither and die, and after its funeral, I investigated why, and I found that sometimes the things that we want they just ain't what we need, but that don't close the wound, only makes it bleed, and then I think all oh, good things must come. An end. There's a time to risk going No amount of heaven in the past is ever gonna change your oh, bring those places back. Oh, good things must come to an end. There's a time to Going back to where I've been, no amount of living in 
on the past is ever gonna change or bring those places back. Thank you all. I love it when we're... Where's we're, he tagging? Tagging. Yeah, he's tagging, tagging away. Tagging. Shout he out was, to Mario. He kind of was starting to wave <laughs> over there for a while. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he wanted to do, he wanted to, you know, lighters all he the way up. He was doing the lighters Yeah, all the way up. Uh, so <laughs> your new album is called So Much for Innocence. Age of Innocence. It's the new album, right? My new album new, new. that... Is the Age yeah. of Innocence. So Much for Innocence. This, so much this record for innocence. right here. here I'm gonna, right. I'm just going to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be happy to yeah. Do yes. Sure. Here, we can both do it. Yep. So, yeah, this is it, and you can get it at my website, which is my name, dot com. Um, it's very simple. Brian and, uh, you can actually get it pretty much anywhere Amazon, all over the place. Yeah, we should be but, um, in the comments, too. Yeah, this is more of a rock record. You That's know, more this, of a rock the, record. It's, it's, it's a different shift, which is fun for me. And, you know, it's, mm -hmm. yeah. as an artist, you, you don't want to paint with the same colors all the time. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. For sure, um, but what? So, what inspired the the name for the album "Age of Innocence"? So much for innocence. Wait, so, so much for innocence. So much for innocence. Okay. We really want to create an album for you called "Age of Innocence," though. Yeah. <laughs> you know, keep thinking you're in an innocent like age. Album. There you, you know? go. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I'm with you. All right. So much for innocence. Then, what inspired that name? Yeah. Um, because. The title track is called So Much For Innocence, and um, for some reason, at the time when I was writing that record, I found myself uh, really noticing and really kind of going through that cathartic process where you're like, I don't mean to get like all you know heavy with you guys, but I'm, I'm gonna do it. Um, where you start to see that moment whenever there's that transition from being that kid who plays baseball and is innocent and then like is washed over into this world where things are ugly and painful and we all go through it. Oh, like an know? it, you know, it's the clown. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just saying that's what that movie's about. That was good. I will never, right, where you go I will in the never lie to you, sewer. so I yeah, just like, don't know it. But it, yeah, Joaquin, is that right on the point? Yes. I wouldn't have thought of that, but yes, yes that's good. It is. Okay, all right, all right. Well, it, I know, trust you completely. Clown. Well, yeah. Every I trust time, you. I'm going to think your of Your innocence is lost. Yes. You know? so Bev's innocence is I'm going to think of Pennywise lost. every time I see you. The whole time that I was recording the vocals, I was dressing in clown makeup, and I was just That's what I had in my head. I thought you were doing that. I was honking horns. They were. It was really annoying to the engineer. Ah, they were like, I would you it. shut up with that? <laughs> they were like, Ryan, we need you to take this seriously. And you're like, I am. I'm like, this is <laughs> the loss of my innocence. I'm getting inspired right now. I'm like, I just want to have fun. <laughs> I was riding a bike around the studio in circles. Um, well, yeah, I mean, there, well, I mean, you know, it aside, there are plenty of other movies about, you know, Now and Then is about that. Uh, Stand By Me, we were talking about there that earlier. Go, yeah. Anyway, there are plenty of movies. Are we talking about the 80s films? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay, we were talking about Rivers Phoenix earlier. Oh, man, and I love yeah, that I know. It's great. Yeah, yeah, it is really right. good. Very moving. Yeah. Um, if you could put any of your music to an 80s movie, what would you put it to? Oh, yeah. If you could feature like like your song in one of the it just like even just a scene, hmm. where would you put Interesting. it? Oh, Oh, Blade Runner, totally. Okay, but Blade what, what, Runner, what, totally. You can too, that's whole, good. Oh yes, I can. Yeah. You said any '80s movie. That's right. That's nice. Right. That's I would, right. I would yeah. Blade Runner. I mean, the rules. I would, the original. I would take the first one. I would take. Good. I would take that that beautiful storyline and that beautiful cinematography that's in Blade Runner, mm -hmm. and I would um, do something cool with that. <laughs> Over the so suspense. Is, I know. Yeah. It, it so seemed like I was really going to go there. Is. You're I'm remaking like, Blade Runner? Is that what you're saying? Do no. something cool. <laughs> you planted the seed. Yeah. I just gave it some hey. water and some sunlight. Yeah, dude. I would, I would love to hear your futuristic sounds. 
Um, no. you know, <laughs> yeah. may, can I interject real quick? <laughs> yeah. So as far as funer- futuristic sounds, that's one thing that I'm very excited about working with a man named Lang Freeman. And I really, really, really encourage anyone out there listening, watching, whatever. Both. Lang Freeman. Lang Freeman. He's a filmmaker, he's, musician? He's, well, he's not a filmmaker. He's a musician, and he's a composer, and he does a little bit of a lot of things. Oh, and cool. And he's, he's a very talented guy. He's going to okay. be producing the record, and uh, which is the first time I've ever had anyone produce any of my music. Mm-hmm. But I trust him implicitly, and, and he's um, someone that I've known for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I love the guy, man. I love the guy, but he does. (laughs) He plays. That was a good joke. Thank you. That was actually. That was on the money, man. Um, But yeah, he he plays around with a lot of electronic and and synth stuff that could fit into that if I had an idea. So he would be he'd be the man to go to. But he's the man to go to anyway. So. Right, Those right. of you that want to, if you Just can, a well-rounded if you artist. can get Lang yeah. Freeman and you want to make a record, go for it. Do it, especially you future heads he's out a, there. He's a, he's <laughs> a sweetheart. He's a yeah. good, good soul. Fans a of good the heart. future, check it out, <laughs> Lang Freeman. And um, speaking of the future, actually, yeah. we had a question come in online about the future. Oh, which is there tomorrow for yeah. me. And, and the question is, yes. Yeah, the question is um, from you. Jackson Alexander again. Jackson, what's up, Jackson? What's the? I hope be- you're doing good, man. Thanks a lot for watching, bro. And yeah. he asked, Jackson, thanks. What's the best track for late night with your Valentines? <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. Let's see. We what's got a whole the best list of, track. Let's what's, choose. What's Which the best that? track from, from so me? Much for let's do both. I guess. From you and just in general. Okay, all right, we're getting, we'll get a little sexy here. <laughs> when you're in the room, it's, it's, it's always sexy, Ryan. Let's just be clear. All right. Thank you, sir. Uh, Thank right. you very Maybe much. Maybe I should leave. Yes, I'm going to clap for that. Yeah. I'm going to clap for that. Hey. That's right. Don't yes. leave me hanging. Yeah. I yes. appreciate that. Okay, so. You guys want to switch? You want to switch seats? I might closer? throw a curveball here. And um, this is. A song that actually you can find on my Facebook music page, which is da 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 Facebook, <laughs> right? Da, da, Wait, da, your your name? You yeah. yeah. That. No, www. That's that's my. <laughs> oh, I thought you were like. Sorry, I have blah moments. blah blah. My name. <laughs> you find it on the internet. <laughs> yeah. you, you, anyway, <laughs> Ryan Desiato music, you know backslash Ryan Desiato music, and it's a song called Lost Possession. That's the. For it's tomorrow, for you, late Jackson, night. and I'll play it now if you want to hear it. Yeah. I wasn't prepared to play this, so I we're, we're, we're gonna well, have to hear it. Then, yeah, yeah, Is grab a bear rug. Well, let's we'll light up the fire. Okay, <laughs> one other request, but let's you know what? It's if it's more questions would be good, so I can like upload the song. Okay, All right, yeah. Good. Well, who, what would be the other uh, Valentine song you might recommend? Just from just just general popular, because we got a lot of lovers that watch this show. Valentine. A lot of lost lovers. Now let's let's a lot be of clear. Dorks do you, don't know how to do find you their own guys music. mean? Oh, okay. Um, I mean, I kind of feel like it's a little bit ostentatious. Barry White. I mean, uh, don't want to say. I mean, yeah, yeah but he's a little bit undeniable, like, man. I mean, I mean yeah, he's undeniable. Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, go for old R and B. Sam Cooke. Yeah. Sam Cooke's great. Um, Um, Otis Redding, like there's a lot yeah. of like real, genuine, heartfelt emotion in that. I would go for that, you know. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's also good. good for crying if you're single. So <laughs> I mean, check it out too that's... if you need to do that. Otis Redding is still your friend. You can't go wrong either, either way. That. That's right. Yeah, well, Bill sure. Withers too. Bill Withers. Oh yeah. Yeah, Bill Withers. Um, Bill have you Withers. ever heard of uh, Bobby Bland? He's another great, very soulful. That um, that name rings a bell, but he had that whole um, um, music. <laughs> he's good. <laughs> uh, well, he had the whole like uh, like lapels and the rings and stuff, but the soulful think, voice. Of, I think a lot uh, of yeah. them did back. In the 70s. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, late I 70s. did back yeah, in those days. Yeah, I mean. I, I would have too. Honestly, playing. put me there. <laughs> In fact, if any fans want to send me giant lapels, I will wear them. That's a promise. <laughs> yes. Oh man! Please send me giant lapels. Please send me giant Jackson, lapels. You can go to Goodwill, bro. 
Yes. Go to Goodwill like, and you can get like yeah. some ridiculous lapels probably. And yeah, about medium and large. Is good. Make I sure that she wears too. it. It's I'm cool. looking at you yeah. right now. I hope you see me. Yeah, let's. It, Next week. <laughs> and speaking of the I fan participation, like, this could be a good, while you're thinking of this, you're finishing up the song here. So a quick little segue. We, we've we started this thing with our Patreon, which is an opportunity where people can be a patron to the show, right? They contribute a, a donation or a contribution to the right, show. Right, right, right. So we have this new thing. It's a spotlight, right? Uh -huh. Where if uh, you're a donator, donor to the show at a certain level, you get your own prime spotlight here on the show. And we had a couple submitted today, right? So I'm going to give a couple spotlights. And I know you're thinking of this song here because then we're going to go to you for the song. Yeah. Um, and this is like the ultimate uh, patron. She's basically is like the super host. And she's That's awesome. Yeah, she's not her here tonight. Saint. And what is her yes. name? Claudia, my wife. That's Claudia. Okay. Claudia. Yeah. Claudia's Thank not you, here. Thank you, Claudia. Our yes. goddess, Claudia. Thanks for supporting us. Yeah. Uh, Let's get some claps going on in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's visiting her. Thank you, Claudia. She's visiting her family right now. So um, oh, she's saying. In New out. Jersey, right? Well, next yes. time. Yes. We do this again next time. In New Jersey. Oh, yeah, yes. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's yes. time in your out, bro. With her parents, Merrick and <laughs> Isabella. Um, and so uh, you know, here's a, a Patreon member spotlight opportunity, right? So Claudia says, shout out to my best friend from high school, Brittany Sandora. She's moving this weekend to North Carolina with her husband Mike and their son Jordan Thomas. So excited for the new adventure and happy you're moving closer to Texas. So Hey, nice shout out spotlight. To yeah. Very good. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and Claudia yes, yes. submitted two. And of course, if she could submit 20, we're going to do them, by the way. So we're doing <laughs> a second one here. Um, and then we're going to song, which is Claudia says, Happy belated birthday. And this is a special one for me. Happy belated birthday <laughs> to our chief of security, Macha. Yes. Who just turned three? Is awesome. Yes. 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 But it's still a big pup who you all got to meet. So yeah, there's Mancha, a couple member she's, spotlights. Yeah. She's 21 in human years. <laughs> yes. Just mess And it acts like she's yeah. still two. Yeah. <laughs> that, that puppy has the vibe of like a six month old. Yes, right? Yeah. Oh, forever I young. Yeah. She's crazy. That. Yeah, no. No, no, no. In a, in a good, fun a way. Big puppy, yes. that's yeah, all yeah, yeah. She's a big old floppy yes. dog. So if you um, want to become a, a, a Patreon, a member of which, you know, right, you get your own spotlight on the yeah, show you, every yeah. week. Yeah. How do, you, how do you do it? You go to patreon.com uh -huh. forward slash music firsthand, and for as little as $3, you can become $3. one of our patrons. Mm -hmm. um, and then we've got the upper end tier, which is just for like $30, you get to come to these shows. So that's wow. pretty cool. And my first time I've been on here. I don't know. What time is it right now, guys? Well, 7.35. 7.35. Yep. I have, this is whiz by and it's fun and there's a lot of beautiful smiling faces here. Audience, yeah, yes. this it's, has it's been really good. something that you would good. enjoy Thank doing. Thank you. Yeah, this has been good. I've really yeah. enjoyed this so far. Thanks. Great well, people. Um, from the, from the sound tech engineer ninjas. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, well it's been a huge pleasure, and, and we got a couple more awesome. songs coming. Yeah, in there, right? have you uploaded that song yet to your, you plugged it in, the song you were going to play, the one that you suggested? Yes. The okay. Valentine's song. We're waiting and for you to, I shifted gears, and I appreciate, I appreciate it. We're going to unplug from the Matrix. So what I'm going to do, <laughs> what I'm going to do is start to turn this guitar on. Is my guitar muted, sir? And Ryan, let's do a couple songs. Let's give your fans what they came here for. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to play this with my fingers because I might do this. Okay, this, this is a new song that I wrote. Oh, man. I wrote this song <laughs> about a moment that was very powerful in my life. Years and years ago. And I'm just going to leave it at that. And I finished it recently. And it's going to go on this, this album. It's a song called What Comes Next. And uh, it may be on piano on the album, but I'm going to play it with my fingers on the guitar tonight. So here we go. Just listening. Confident and beautiful 
beautiful and spoken for And I respected that We sat alone and shared who we were Gave and took of ourselves As the night wore on, I found that I couldn't fight what I couldn't help. She said, do you feel this silent electricity? I said, do you really even have to ask? This night cannot go on any farther Because what comes next we can't take back What came next we couldn't take back In the air there was this still kind of heaviness Weight of what just could not be But still I took her hand and I held it to my lips And said I would give you all of me She said, do you feel this silent electricity? Do you really even have to ask? This night cannot go on any farther Because what comes next we can't take back What came next we couldn't take She looked into my eyes and said, I feel something for you that I shouldn't. I looked at her and I knew that what we felt was something that we couldn't. So I walked away and asked if one day she would try and find me. Maybe one day we could hold on to a piece of what that night held. Thank you guys very much. Thanks. It's one of those story songs, and uh, and yeah, just I'm looking forward to recording that on this new album. It'll be a part of the new EP coming out this spring. Good. Oh, second song. Everybody's like giving. Me. So everybody in viewer land, people are going. 
I think that's their imitation of a guitar player. <laughs> How much time do we have left, guys? Sorry, I know that's not professional. Six minutes? Ten minutes? All right. Okay, so this song is another tune. We're going to go vulnerable on these last two. This is a song called I'm Yours, and um, it's a song that I wrote. It's going to be on the EP as well, and it's a song that I wrote for, um, for someone that I didn't know at the time. I wasn't in the right relationship, but I still wanted to write a, a love song, and so instead of being overly dramatic, I simply just wrote what I would write to the person that I wanted to be with, and that's what the song is. So let's play that one. <laughs> Sick of the sorrow, so tired of the wait. I keep dreaming of tomorrow. Show me your face. I'm crazy about you. But what is your name? Maybe we've met in some faraway place. Maybe the hope that I find you is enough for today But I need you Thank you guys very much. Appreciate it. Nice. It was great. And um, just quick too, I just want to give a shout out. We won't have time for it, but uh, Sean Rodas uh, sent in a request too about play Make Believe. Is that also a romantic song? Which is song? a great we song. Have time for it or... No. Um, uh, Next you, time. But we, you know, we, could, we could do it. Hey, no, 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 no. We can do it. We can do it. Because that is probably my favorite song as well. Oh. So, and I get to call the shots around here. So, Sean, we're going to do yeah. it. Yeah. There we go. We're going to do it, Sean. Sean. Yeah. yeah. You know what, Sean? <clears throat> Excuse me. We're here for our fans. I'm going to do a special version of this song. Nice. Something that's completely different than what you've heard before. 
<laughs> Easy on Zoe. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> no, I, honestly, this has been a blast. I just want to say my thank yous. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, for thank all you. The love and all the just gentle kindness and patience. <laughs> patience. Hey, Sean, here you go. Here's your make believe, brother. Together, there is no turning back from here. The land's been crossed, the storms been weathered, but we're not yet in the clear. There you go, Sean. I had no plan to play that tonight, but it's for you, my brother. Thank you for being so vulnerable with us. When you brought that up a couple you know of what? times. <laughs> give you that there we go. It is terrifying. Terrifying for any artist. For man, it's terrifying to be vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah. It's, right. down. Like, it's true. For years, I did the rock stuff simply because I wanted to hide behind metaphors. And now I'm just gonna tell stories and just tell it like it is. And Try to be as brave as I can. That's all. Do you think people are... So when you, you mean like hide behind metaphors, you think people are like 
scared of rock people because they're <laughs> hiding behind metaphors. I'm no, scared. Or of there's rock like, there's like a I think everybody resonates I mean, with you know, in their own way for yeah, yeah. reasons. And I mean, there's there's so many. I mean, there, that's a that's a psychological, philosophical question that is almost scientific. Honestly, yeah, because to I mean, me, like huge. coming it's, from it's from question. that sort of musical background, those are always the biggest babies. Are the ones with like all the tattoos you know? and the spikes? <laughs> yeah, they're just right. losing you're their exactly shit right. all the time. You, you, you have I mean, a point there. Yeah, yeah. You definitely do. It's. Uh, I just, I yeah. just think that everybody's personal evolution is different, and like the closer we get to who we really are, the closer that we get to who we really are, at that time in our lives, mm -hmm. the more effective we can be in every context, and that's all I have to say about that. Yeah, I think Please. that's beautiful. Give yeah, it up for Ryan Dacia. That's great. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Yeah, and thanks to, we have a great team here of volunteers that comes together mm -hmm. every Good week, job. right? Yeah. So Mario Ramirez over here running on social. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get some love Killing to him. It, He's doing great. Yeah. And then, um, He's got jokes. Yeah, and, we, uh, <laughs> and true. Brett Winning is here tonight running sound and video for us. Yeah. Right. That's pretty fantastic yep. as well. Giving uh, Mr. Mr. Levy the night off, so yeah. which is which has been good. So yeah, and thank you, Melody, nice. for being on the yes, show. Of course, Absolutely. Of course. Yes. Bravo. Yeah, thank you. Right, thank you. Um, thank you yeah. And next week we have. Uh, well, next week we're at Hops and Grain. We're back on the road. Cool. So for those of you in Austin, come in down the to the brewery. Yeah. yeah it, it, we we will um, fill the place up at Hops and Grain because we've got Johnny Gowdy uh, on the show oh, next yeah. week. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Cool. Come Great on out. Guy. He's excellent. He is Happens fantastic, Zoe. and um, he's got a great podcast as well called "How Did I Get Here." You're right, he does. So, which you should really check out. Yeah, Very popular. For John. Yeah. So he's on the show next week at the same time. We'll be here, and then let me think. Hops and Grain. Let me think. New Standard Manufacturing. They produce yeah. the shirts. So if you need merch or shirts or hats or stickers or anything else, reach out to New Standard Manufacturing. And Ryan, thank you so much for coming yeah, on the show. Yeah, thank man. you so much. You guys are yeah, sincerely, sincerely. Thank you. Yeah, this Thanks. has been great. All right, so keep supporting uh, local Austin music, but support your local music if you're dialing in from somewhere Just else. Wherever you are. Yeah, and yeah. thanks everybody for tuning in tonight. We'll be back next week, Tuesday, 7 p.m. with Johnny Gowdy. See y'all. Nice. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for watching.